Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has once again underscored the critical need for permission to strike targets inside Russia, asserting that such actions are essential for achieving lasting peace in the region. In a recent address, Zelensky highlighted the growing international discourse surrounding the need for authorization to conduct these strikes, a sentiment that is now echoed by several world leaders. Our drones and missiles can achieve some of the objectives, but real peace, a real end to this war, is a comprehensive task. To force Russia to make peace, to move from deceitful rhetoric about negotiations to actual steps to end the war, to free our land from occupation and occupiers requires both actions and tools. I know that in these days and weeks, our friends worldwide, journalists spreading the truth about this war, many state leaders, public figures and politicians are speaking out about how important it is to have permission for long-range strikes and the corresponding long-range missiles and shells to bring peace closer and save lives. In his address, Zelensky specifically mentioned key figures such as US President Joe Biden, French President Emmanuel Macron, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, and British Prime Minister Keir Starmer, emphasizing their pivotal roles in granting Ukraine the necessary permissions for these critical strikes. And this depends on President Biden, Prime Minister Starmer, President Macron, Chancellor Schultz, and others. I thank everyone who is persuading the world to be strong and in the end, to defeat Russian terror. No Russian missile, no Russian strike should remain without a just response. A response with weapons, sanctions, the right policies, economic support for Ukraine, and justice for Russia. The cost of ongoing war is also becoming a challenge for Ukraine. In an apparent move to meet the revenue requirement to put up a fight, President Zelensky has signed a new law that increases the excise tax on fuel, which will take effect on September 1st, 2024. The law establishes new tax rates for gasoline, diesel and gas, aiming to bolster Ukraine's economic resilience amidst ongoing conflict. Starting September 1st, Ukraine will implement significant increases in excise duties on fuel. The rate for gasoline will rise from EUR 213.5 to EUR 242.6, reflecting a 13.6% increase, while diesel fuel will see a 27.3% hike, moving from EUR 139.5 to EUR 177.6. The excise duty on autogas will experience the most dramatic change, surging by 184.6% from EUR 52 to EUR 148. Looking ahead to January 1st, 2028, the excise taxes will increase even further. Gasoline will be taxed at EUR 359 per 1,000 litres, marking a 68.1% increase from the current rate. Diesel will reach EUR 330, representing a 136.6% rise, and autogas will climb to EUR 250, reflecting a substantial 380.8% increase. These forthcoming changes are set to considerably impact consumer prices and underscore a significant adjustment in fuel taxation over the coming years. However, some experts predict that the price impact of the tax increase may be mitigated by recent decreases in global fuel prices. As Ukraine continues to navigate both its external conflicts and internal economic challenges, Zelensky's recent moves reflect a strategic balancing act aimed at sustaining the nation's defense capabilities while managing the economic pressures of war.